Hello everyone! Welcome back to some more World of Final Fantasy. Let's talk to this individual. Well, as I live and breathe, oh. I've been around for quite a long time, but I've never in my life seen a giant who wasn't part of the Bahamutian army. I wasn't expecting the side characters to be voiced. Oh. What's up, guys? Nice armor. Leave them alone, please. Oh, you're the leader. Thank you for coming. Welcome to the Kingdom of Cornelia. I am Princess Sarah. Right? Doesn't this sound like lightning? Wait, you're like a princess? We had no idea. Oh my gosh. I am so sorry Lon acted like such a royal idiot. I'm not royal. Oh, and I'm his older sister, Rain. It's an honor. Please forgive the ruse. At first, I suspected that you might be agents sent here by Bahamut. I was wrong. You stood up bravely against their mirages and kept our town safe. All of Cornelia thanks you. Well, oh, I wouldn't say we were that brave. Really. <sighs> Stop, you're so modest. Still, the fact of the matter is, we didn't do anything all that outstanding. Yeah, we're more the instanding types. Pretty sure that instanding isn't an actual the word. <laughs> oh, forgive me. It's just so hard to believe that you two are the stuff of prophecies. prophecies? Oh, we're prophecies. Oh, that's right. I think I heard the townsfolk going on about some kind of prophecy too. Oh, I am sorry. If you will permit me, I will explain it from the beginning. You see, Cornelia is an unfederated state midway up Grimoire. Unfederated? Yes. Let me explain that as well. The majority of Grimoire's countries and municipalities have annexed themselves to the Bahamutian Federation under the rule of Brandalus, the Herald King. Oh. Cornelia, however, has continued to maintain its sovereignty. The Federation has made attempts to erode this stance countless times. But we have held our ground, and now Bahamut has taken to armed provocation. You mean like, that mirage attack before? Yes. So where does this prophecy factor in? The Azure prophecy speaks of a divergence. When time begins its march anew, they shall return as visitors. Giants from the hills of a world not our own. Upon Grimoire, they will wreak two divergent futures. One that brings salvation, and the other ruin, an enigma to confound even the highest mind. The giants may... reek to futures? Reek, huh? Oh, man! Tama, this prophecy's about you! What? Mm. What are you even talking about? There's mm. nothing irrelevant to the way I smell! Mm. You big the dummy! Well, at least I'm dumber than you! <laughs> Yo, I'm with these guards. Just <laughs> that look. <laughs> like, uh. I'm afraid there's just no hope for them. Oh. <laughs> so, the giants from the hills, as in. Mineworth Hills? I guess it's one of those believe what you want to things. But yeah, so far, it does seem to match up. Um. Do you mind if I ask you a slightly awkward question? If this federation is really so terrible, why have so many countries agreed to become members? Most of the mirages in Grimoire, not all, but certainly most of them, are now firmly under the federation's control. With such a powerful army behind them, citizens can go about their lives without fearing the mirages that still roam free. Dude, they control that many mirages? Seriously? You Yes! Uh, dude. Whoa. Oh my god. King Brandalus' herald lieutenants, known as Siguaridus and Pelinor, command all of Grimoire's mirages with the same authority as the famous Queen of the Keepers of ages past. So there was a Queen of the Keepers? Sounds like she was pretty powerful. Yes, but that was more than a century ago. So, sorry for the string of dumb questions, but... If the Federation can guarantee that kind of absolute protection, wouldn't it be worthwhile to take them up on their offer? It may seem wise, but 
But you see, membership in the Federation involves following their laws and adoption of a heinous creed. It chills me right to the marrow of my bones. That bad? Yes. I beg you, see for yourselves. Once you've done so well, you will understand. Or you could just like tell me. Then? Now then, may I ask what the two of you intend to do next? Well, whatever's going on out there, the only thing we can do right now is just keep rounding up more mirages, am I right? Oh? Apparently, at one time we commanded a whole legion of them. But somehow, we lost them along with our memories. So, we're hoping by getting the mirages back, we might stumble on some clues about our past. That's right. So if mirages like those goblins are bugging you, we can lay down the smack. Lay down the what? Uh, I think what he's trying to say is we'll help you out, or at least in the best way we know how. Oh, wonderful. You have my thanks. Mine and all Cornelia's. Still, if we're going to be any help, don't you think we need to beef up our arsenal first? Because we can't put up much of a fight without some strong mirages. Good point. Princess. Do you know of any nearby places where strong mirages live? I mean, I know of one. If you travel to the northeast of Cornelia, you'll find the Nether Nebula, a network of caverns inhabited by many wild mirages. Ooh, nice. Well, Not at all. Savage mirages have been sighted in the nebula. You may well end up dead. That's cool. If you insist upon going, then please take the utmost caution. He will, your highness. Otherwise, he's gonna be extremely sorry! Wait a minute, why just me? What did I do? My question I would ask in this situation is, how do you do anything when you have no hands? That's it, that would be my one question. Not about the Bahamushin army, not about why you're all chibi characters, just how do you get around without hands? How do you like, how'd you put those clothes on? How do you eat? I, mean, I guess you can still eat. You just put your head down and use your mouth, but man. It looks they must like live tough lives. We need to wind our way down to reach the exit. Seems that way. What a funny way to build a town. Hey man, oh, don't judge the town. That's strange to the people of Grimoire. Hey, while we're here, why don't we ask around town and just see what we can find out? Oh, from like that question mark? But oh, let's talk to this person. No about before you trip and break your neck okay oh you're talking to this person aren't you no right. let's talk to the black mage so the giants from the hills weren't just a legend after all whoa sirs that would mean whoa sirs. according to the prophecy eh, who cares about prophecies the important thing is whoa sirs i like this dude who gives a f about prophecies? Just it's cool. Those Federation goons probably wouldn't attack us anymore. Come to think of it, our neighbors in Seronia also stand against the Federation. Then again, if we join forces with another country, we'd just become even more obvious targets. It makes it tough for the princess to reach out. I wonder if there aren't any powerful countries or organizations out there that we could ask for help. Wait a minute, they're attacking you anyway. Why not ally with somebody else? Hey, there's that black mage or white mage. All the way up there. Uh, what am I gonna do? Oh, say, you wouldn't happen to be the giants from the hills by any chance, would you? You see, there's a situation I'm dealing with where I could really use your assistance, since you must know Mirage so well. Is that Nolan North? I you to please bring me an earth hammer. If you could, I would be forever in your debt. Many venture accepted. Best helm in the realm. By gosh darn diddly. Thank you again for doing this. Okay. <laughs> I knew it. So giants really can make themselves big or small whenever they want. If I became a giant, could I make myself big or small too? I don't know. But huzzah, look at that. Now I am big. Oh, that's not actually a way out. So, Earth Hammer, huh? to marvel at the princess's stubbornness after all joining the federation would guarantee her kingdom's safety and prosperity of course you won't catch me going along with the federation either 
That's the whole reason I left my hometown to come here. Okay. Many people who stand opposed to the Federation have abandoned their hometowns and fled here to Cornelia. Do you think that could be the reason that the Bahamutian army has become so much more aggressive lately? I don't know, White Mage. I don't know. Oh. You know what I can't wrap my head around? There are actually people out there who've agreed to go along with those Federation tyrants. I don't know why anyone even trusts what they have to say. Me either, buddy. Oh, a little mini grim uh, portal thing. It's fast travel. Huh? Hmm? We're back in Ninewood Hills? You see, the gate here doesn't connect to just one of the areas. All throughout Grimoire, you'll find places, save the locations that lead back here, open the way to come and to go as you please. And how exactly do we do that? You already have the stall. Just walk up to the right place, and that's all it takes. But surely a means of transportation that handy must come with a catch? No, the catch! You can use the gate as the little or much as you like. What's <laughs> more, time in here and time in Grimoire, they don't both the flow at the same speed. So whatever crisis is going to down, you can put it on hold and kick back here till you're ready. Whoa! It's like magic. Yeah, really. Dude, this whole magic. thing is like magic. What do you imagine revisiting any place we've been? We'll call it the Super Porta Park. Are you the kidding? That name definitely he gets an F. He deserves an H. An H? But grades only go down to F. Extra, extra. Read all about it. Be you the one here, Seraphy. In case you're wondering, yes, Seraphy. a prism case anywhere you find one of these gates. Cool. Oh, I think I would get it now. Gates are the what you meant when you talked about a strong connection. Huh? Oh, right, right. That's the gist of it. Okay, approaching a gate will connect you to the main gate in the Ninewood Hills. Once it's linked up, you can use the gate to travel anywhere. Exit gates are special one-way doors for leaving dungeons. Okay. A chronic wave of travels is recorded in the game's menu. Ah. Select like many adventures to have a peek at quests and errands you've undertaken. Naturally, you can stop by to check your progress too. But you can also collect quest rewards here too. Oh, really? So you don't have to go back to the person? Well, uh, wait. Okay, we probably... to the Nether Nebula. Yes, let's go. But first, let's check that chip jar. See if she uh, snuck anything in there. Yeah, we've seen that. Nope, doesn't look like it. The story thus far. Reward of- oh, five high potions? Eh, okay, well. That's cool. Come on, Faye. We ride. Oh, hey, look, Faye, it's your upgraded form. Okay. That's it, that's all I wanted. Oops. Oh! Oh man, you people give me things? All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hello, madam. That train is used to carry wood from the forest? Not only that, mages in training use it all the time too. Hmm. 
Okay. Let's, uh, the leave. Chapter 3. Old Acquaintances. While an intention displays a map of your surroundings, not only does the map help you get your bearings, it also lists your destination, location of gates, and save crystals. That even includes a list of mirages you've discovered. She said the nether Whoa. nebula is somewhere northeast of Cornelia, right? Time to go hustle and rustle a little mirage muscle. Just don't hustle so much that you get yourself lost, okay? I might just leave you there. That's a <laughs> cool looking tree. <laughs> When's the last time I got... Don't push it. Okay. Oh, okay, I guess we'll go this way. Wow, the air here is so clean. <laughs> it's like there's no pollution in this world. Yeah, right? Yahoo! You're a Yahoo. Wait, no, no, Rain, you need to shout for it to work. Yahoo! Okay. We're just going to skip that and go into this nebula. Be the careful. The mirages in here are a lot the stronger than any you faced the before. Yeah, let's not mess around in the never neba thing on the bob. Nether Nebula. Do you think you can do something about that habit of forgetting the name of virtually everything? Can you just not be that type of stereotypical character? Oh, jeez. Here's another gate. That's the right. Gates they usually turn up in towns or at the start of most mirage infested areas. You never have to travel far to the visit a place you've been. Whenever you want to get from point the A to point the B, just use the gate as a handy mm. little shortcut. A shortcut, huh? So, like, if we wanted to go back to Cornelia right this instant, we could just take this gate back to Ninewood Hills, then we can take the gate from there to Cornelia. You see? Man. All in all, it makes for a pretty short shortcut. Yeah! If it were hair, you'd have to call it... You'd have to call it a buzz cut! Okay. What? 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 Ah, uh, I already don't like this character. They write him to be really just dumb. The dumb. Mirror tools are made by extracting your Mirage's abilities and crystallizing them into gemstones that impart these to uh, uh, Renan Lawn. To unlock more mirror jewel slots, eventually they'll be able to equip up to eight mirror jewels apiece. When Rain and Land equip mirror jewels, they temporarily gain those abilities. If you've got a stack you like, but need just one more piece to unlock a more powerful ability, mirror jewels are a great way to make up the difference. You can unlock mirror jewels on mirage boards or find them in treasure chests. Sure, I guess. Why not? So now you can use Libra. Okay, and you don't have any creature that can use Libra that's stacked on you, so that, I guess, works out. It's not like every single stack can use Libra. Cool. Just in time. Right, let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> oh, look at you, little dudes. All right, so this is gonna be her. Okay, classic abilities. A Libra, these fools. Mini golems. Huzzah! Oh, okay. Now in Prism. What? 
What in the what? Yeah. Robbed him. Excellent. You have no upgraded form. Looks like someone stapled a set of arms and legs to a head. Likes charging its enemies while singing Go Go Gollum Body Slam. Well, alright then. Looks like you have a lot of HP there, buddy. I shall name you Gadgets. Since you like to say go go body slam. Get it? Gadget? I don't know. Well, maybe some hopefully some of you get it. Looks good. Do we want to equip gadgets? Maybe? Hmm. I mean, the problem is though, like, the gadget will never evolve into anything else. Man, I love a good adventure. Come on, sis, let's follow this rabbit hole as far as it goes. Yeah, fine. Just behave yourself. I guess for Yep. I'm really glad there is this um fast forward time feature. That's pretty cool. What was really cool is in the 3DS game Bravely Default, they allowed you to select the um the chance of finding a random encounter. So if you just didn't want to fight at all, you can actually lower that down to zero. Or if you really wanted to just spend time grinding, you can like increase it by 200% or something. That's a really cool feature that I think all RPGs like this that have these random encounters should incorporate. Great feature in that game. Amazing. You can just roll through an entire dungeon and not have it a single encounter if you wanted to. And that's pretty cool. Um... Mirage boards. Look at you, little gadget thing. Body slam. Top of strength high. Okay, I'm sure that could be handy when we fight stacks. So HP, defense, restore. Like restore your stack, maybe. More HP, accuracy, unlock. A whole other Mirage board? So you may not be able to evolve, but you can unlock a whole other board. Oh wait, and another board. Hmm. You know what, Gadget? Maybe you are the worth it. Um, Faye, I'm going to replace you. Wait. Yeah, there you are. I mean, also, we do, will re or we will require always a small creature at some point. So these other creatures will evolve into bigger creatures, so we will need small ones to keep at the st uh, top of the stack. So I guess Gadget can still be pretty cool. Especially since they have some more Mirage boards. This dungeon is way more dungeony than I thought. Did you know that originally dungeon referred to the biggest tower in a castle? It's what they called the castle keep. How long has it been since I've heard Rain go off on one of her educational rants? That was the first time. Dude, it's on. Let's make this <gasps> good. Hey, these little things.
There we go. In prison. You mother. Fine then. Is that poison? Oh, we won okay. We definitely want you. We're just gonna kill you off. Haha! No trouble at all. You're now mine. Mandragora. Mandragoras live all over the world. These little guys may look cute, but don't touch. They're poisonous. While no one's ever sighted one in the process of growing, you can never be too safe. So if you see two floppy leaves sticking up, be smart and don't yank them. Okay. We will name you... We will name you... Apple. The poisoned apple. Yeah, look, they're so happy about it. They like the name. I think they would like the name no matter what. I could just name him a bunch of Fs. The more upset she gets, the more she tries to cover it up. Okay. So who do we really want here? We definitely need curing magic. So actually, I should put Faye back in there. Tama can also cure at some point, right? Like down here? Yeah. So I should definitely level those two up. Good old Apple here. Control. Sure. Accuracy. Photosynthesis. Sometimes bestows regen at the start of battle could be pretty sweet. Obtain a Mandragora Prism. So we could capture another one for free. Interesting. Inflict so physical wind damage and poison. Inflict wind damage and sleep. Gives the attack command a chance of inflicting poison. Oh, man. Um... Yeah, I like you, Apple. Let's check Boya again. All oh, right, you know, that's really cool, too. Shoot, that's really cool. Tickle. <laughs> Enhanced cure. Oh, man. Remove status ailments would be pretty good. Um... Man, like all of these seem pretty useful so far. Okay, so let us actually go back to stack setup. Man, I can see this getting really crazy. Just super involved with leveling up your Poke, um, your Mirages. That was not an, I did not do that slip on purpose. I just thought we'll straight up call these Pokemon. That was not intentional. Um, before we level up Gadget, you know what? Let's switch you back to Faye so I can get your cure. bring you back in buddy and then Tama can also have cure Voya Mumu you know maybe Mumu is the one I don't really need I'm gonna replace you with Apple but mayhaps I need to look at what Mu's abilities are again we do have a Libra We can get some do somewhere else. Hmm, regen's pretty cool. Looks like you can potentially transfigure pretty quickly. Although you need to be level 10, so that's going to be your stop. Another Mirage board. Ah, oh, man. I want to level up all of these. You know where the work. Sis, I think we're good. Sorry, I know, but I, I need to see what this is. What is a sleek? An item that gimme golem's treasure. Um. Uh, okay. 
Oh, mayhaps this gimme golem? I know this may seem simple now, but I bet you that's gonna... Man, we're gonna have to do some crazy exploring to give future gimme golems what they want. I wonder if that's just kind of like an artificial way to keep you in a dungeon longer. So that you level up. And don't just like breeze through. Are you kidding me? Mirages <gasps> can stack too? Yep. Way the stronger when you're piled up. Do their abilities change when they're stacked too then? Afraid is so. Which means somebody needs to stop underestimating the enemy before he finds himself up to his neck in some... Okay. I've got this. At least he knows the warnings not... Uh-huh. So, we need to knock you down. Uh, which... You are weak to wind. For him. Okay. Oh, uh, that's her. Well. Tell you what. Let's actually knock down you, or knock you out first. Then you are going to... Whisper Wind. So we should get some AP back, right? Because we assaulted their weakness? Isn't that how this works? Holy! Well then. Oh, okay. All right. Yay, level. So that continues on, but there was a way to descend over here, right? Oh man, another one of these sacks. Now, they're resistant to Earth, right? Yeah, heavily resistant to Earth. So we definitely don't want to do... that. Let's try... See how you like this. That one. levels. Or does that... Oh, wait. No, that just goes back to the beginning, right? Oh. I guess I could have just pulled up this map. Yeah. So that just would have... Yeah, that would have put us back. Okay. All right. Well, I'm going to end it here, everybody. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good day.